Okay, so we factory reset the phone. <clears throat> the, the phone user interface told us the phone's IP address on the local network. And so we go to a computer and we open that up because it's going to be much easier to configure the phone here than uh, trying to use the keypad on the phone. So the first thing we notice, it's complaining that we have not secured this web interface um, because we factory reset it, that makes sense, and then they, they prompt us to do that. So the administrator password is the administrator password on the phone for administrator mode. Um, so it's best to just keep this. I don't ever use that. The phones, I figure if somebody has access to the phone, they have access to everything. Um, but if you do want to set this, um, I would suggest using some numeric password like one, two, three, four, but we'll just make it zero, 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 zero. And then this is the password for the HTTP server which is this web interface we're accessing right now. So we should set a, a password here. We can specify a user as well if, if we want. <coughs> By default, uh, the user is blank. Um, so I'm just going to set this to a password um, and then save the settings. Okay, so the settings are saved. And now next time if I reload, it wants a password to log in here. So remember the username is blank, password is password. Of course, in, you should set something more secure. This is just for demo purposes. Okay, so we've got a menu over here. Um, it's a lot of different options and we're just gonna go through the, the main ones to get the phone working. Um, so first of all, if we look at preferences, we've got uh, limited options here. Notice it's, it's only um, English and German, which is weird, right? Because it's mixed and the tone scheme is Australia. So some weird, some weird settings here. So first let's fix the languages. Um, if you look at SNOM's website, they say the phone doesn't have enough memory to contain multiple languages. And so it only has one at a time. Uh, so in order to change that, uh, we have to provide a settings file to the phone and then the phone's gonna give us the option. So the settings file we use depends on the firmware version. So if we come back over here and look at system information, you can see that we're running 87535. And uh, so that's gonna be this one, 87X. So we take the settings URL, go back to the phone web interface. It's advanced, update tab, and this field here. So we paste that URL in apply and reboot. Okay, the phone is restarting. I'm watching it behind me here. Okay, so now the phone has come up and I have a menu on the phone now letting me choose a language, but I'm just going to ignore that and come back over here <clears throat> and go back to preferences. Um, oh, that's interesting. They don't like our admin password. This is different than the HTTP password. Um, let's go fix that real quick. So, admin password. They didn't like our 000, so let's make it uh, 4321. Okay, so hopefully that's happy now. We still got our update URL there, that's fine. And now if we go back to preferences, look at that. So um, web interface language is the interface of this uh, web page here. And the language setting is the language on the phone. So the menus and, um, and everything that's displayed on the, the phone itself. Um, I'm more comfortable with English, so we're doing this with English, but of course you can change these to whatever, whatever you want. <clears throat> So a few obvious things have to get fixed here, um, which is change uh, your tone scheme based on the, the country that you're in. Um, decide on the date formats and time formats and do you wanna show a clock on your phone, all this kind of stuff. Um, you can change ringers, you can have custom ringers. Not gonna worry about that. SNOM's interface, for some reason, you, you oftentimes have to click twice to save things. Um, let's actually leave that. Is German here. Okay. Um, 
All right, so that's preferences. And then um, the identity things, these are all basically your SIP accounts. So you can have, for every single one of these, you can have um, a connection to a SIP provider and then switch between them on, on the same phone. But in the basic case, you're, most people are just going to configure one. Um, so we go to identity one and we have to provide our SIP uh, details. Now, if we look at, before we do that, system information, um, you can see the status of these different SIP identities. Currently, there's, there's no status because we haven't configured anything. All right. Um, so we go to identity one and I've got our uh, free SIP gate account here. Um, so let's go ahead and put that in. So the registrar is SIP gate, the outbound proxy is that the outbound proxy is supposedly using this port if you have to put in a port I'm, i think this is the default so i don't think you have to put it in now we've got um oh that's actually the password sorry about that okay so we've got our sip sip identity that's our username so that's account and it's also username. We put it in both places in the case of SIPgate and grab our password, paste that in. Display name, let's just call it SIPgate. This is mostly, the display name is mostly interesting if you have multiple SIP identities configured because then you can show which one is currently active. Um, you might want to just put your phone number here uh, or something else. Um, okay, identity is active. Um, I think SIPgate, there's some specific mailbox code that you can put in. I believe that that uh, ties to the mailbox button on the phone uh, to, to dial your mailbox or, and to check for messages and things like that. But we're just focused on the basic settings here now. You can select your ringer, custom uh, when, the, when the phone is idle, uh, what, what do you want displayed, custom melody URL has to be a very specific format file. Anyway, um, okay, so let's apply those settings to save it again and let's click re-register to try and register with the SIP provider. And then if we come look at system information, we can see that the registration was indeed successful. So we are connected and registered to SIPgate and we could um, uh, pretty easily um, test the phone now or, or potentially use the phone now. But let's, let's check a few more things here. So features, um, depending on your SIP provider, a lot of these things you may want to configure on the SIP provider's side as opposed to on the phone directly because these features like call forwarding will depend on the phone always being online. So a call comes into the phone and then the phone can, can do something with it as opposed to your provider, SIP provider being online with their service, a call comes in. If you don't answer the phone, what do you want them to do with that? So in general, I've, I've never used these things, but of course, the, the phone has a huge number of features. Identity settings. Um, I don't think any of that's critical. This is one that's important for a lot of people. Um, so stun server uh, helps you to get through um, through uh, when you're running a phone behind your router um, in order to solve con weird connectivity issues or having the uh, regist the uh, SIP server not being able to connect to your phone or things like that, Stun seems to help um, to get through your through your router's firewall, basically. Um, and I think that's the default port, but just to be safe, we'll put that <coughs> put that there. And yeah, I don't think we need to change any of that. All right, so we've got preferences, we've got the identity, and we go to advanced. So here uh, you can set a lot of different things like if you need custom DNS servers or if you want to set a static IP address, uh, you can turn off DHCP and um, if you want to configure a time server uh, so that your phone stays up to date by connecting to a server to get the time and that's all on that. I never change anything here. Or here. So these settings apply, remember, to all, all the different identities. So in general, I don't think we need to change things in most places. 
this is where you find your, your settings. I don't know what the HTTP client and proxy uh, passwords are about. This is that main admin password to log into this interface, and these are the, um, the passwords on the phone. Administrator mode on means that the user using the phone can adjust all the settings as the administrator without having to log in. Um, if you want the phone to be on a VLAN, you can configure that here. Same thing for the PC port because there's a downstream port for a computer. Uh, update. Um, this is where you can back up and restore settings for the phone um, as well as use, do provisioning uh, for the settings. This is where we set up the language. Um, and software update is down here. So if you want to update the firmware, I think the current version might even have uh, an update to solve some audio issues. Um, and that's about it. Then we're still registered, no problem. Here's a log, so if, if something's going wrong, you can, can look in here and see what's, what's going on in terms of configuration, if, if phone calls aren't working or, or other stuff. Um, this can help sometimes. And this is where you can back up your settings that are on the phone. And that's basically it. The phone is up and running and working and um, ready to make calls. Herzlich willkommen bei Zipgate. Ihr Telefon ist korrekt eingerichtet. Sie können nun kostenlos Gespräche entgegennehmen und andere Zipgate-Teilnehmer kostenlos anrufen. Um Gespräche ins Festnetz und zu Handys tätigen zu können, benötigen Sie Guthaben. Dieses Guthaben können Sie online und... Herzlich willkommen bei Zipgate.